We each got locked inside a sensory deprivation tank for an hour. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, we are leaving the studio to take a sensory deprivation adventure, okay. a field trip. Now, you know we live in Los Angeles. There's lots of weird stuff that happens here. We heard about these things called sensory deprivation tanks. The idea is that you get into this completely lightless, soundproof chamber that's filled with water that you're floating in. A and box. You, you experience no sensations. They started doing this back in the 50s. There was a guy named John Lilly, I think was his name, and he was experiencing this, this sensory deprivation and seeing what would happen, and he started having hallucinations. He said he, he made contact with beings from other planets. He went to other dimensions. A bit kind of a crazy I mean, sort of thing. People use it for meditation and relaxation. Like it's an today. alternative medicine thing now. That's people pay happening. money to do this. They float on their backs, but you, it feels like you're floating weightlessly is what they say. Right, so we decided, why don't we go and find out what this is all about? Maybe we'll come in contact with someone from another planet, or maybe we'll just have a great relaxing time. So we've documented the process. Let's begin the field trip now. Here it is, it doesn't look like doesn't look like a shop, it looks like a home. Uh, I wanted it to be a strip mall. I was expecting a cryogenic chamber to be in a strip mall. Well, it's somewhere in his house, um, so I'm told we're supposed to meet Ed in the backyard. Oh. Ed? Hey, I'm Link. Rhett. Hey, Ed, yes, how you doing? Should we prepare to evolve? It's up to you. See, that's the whole point of, of floating. Floating is um, about doing nothing. You have to make the choice of whether or not you want to do that, because otherwise it's just a boring nothing. Okay. But you want it to be a exciting nothing. Is it, this is your house? Yes, it is. Okay. It's pretty. You got a Christmas ornament over here. When you come out of nothing, it's here for you to join the world in a place where you can enjoy life and color and be with your friends and express yourself. But what you're saying is that it, this is nothing. That we're well, about to experience nothing. You have to understand that the moment that you try to define nothing, you filled it with something. Can we see this nothing? Let's let's the check chamber. it out. Yeah. Take us to the chamber. Let's take you to the chamber. Is it in a dungeon kind of situation? Um, no, but we can arrange it. NASA used the tank for astronaut pre-flight space training. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> what? It's How a, deep does this go? A, it's a void. Uh, it's about uh, 80 tw feet? 25 feet deep. It's There's a hole all the way down here. Are you, you can, joking? You no, I'm Ed. <laughs> no, no. Okay, how deep it's, is it's this, It's only Ed? 10 inches. I'm shining the light, flashlight, and I still can't see anything. I couldn't even see that. Yeah. What did you think it was going to be, Link? I thought it, I, he told me it was 25 feet, and I believed it. <laughs> like, I couldn't see anything. It's just blackness. The hmm. tank, it does nothing. Really, it does nothing but it does nothing really well. I do okay. want you to go first because if you don't make it, then I'm probably not going in. Yeah, we It's that room. simple. Now, yeah. we're all going in the restroom now? No, no, I'm just, well, What's this happening? is where you're gonna start, Okay. and this is where you're gonna end. So Red's gonna, Red, you're gonna get totally naked and you're gonna put on like a robe. Robe. And then you're gonna, you're gonna get in the chamber. Yeah. And then uh, we're gonna say goodbye. Farewell. Mm -hmm. Au revoir. Au revoir. Nice knowing you. And we're gonna shut the lid. That's the process. Yeah. Looking for consciousness in the brain is like looking inside a radio for the announcer. The word listen contains the same letters as the word silent. Did you write that one? Nope. I'm ready. You look like you just came out of the tank. Rope's a little small. <laughs> what, you ready to get in the chamber? Yeah, and there's, listen, there's nothing under this rope except me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. All right. Rep, are you willing and ready to step into the void? Yeah. What's that noise? That's the ocean waves crashing that you're going to hear on the inside. The water sloshing around? Yeah. You got the earplugs in? Yeah. I'm going to make contact. Rhett. What? I appreciate our friendship, man. I appreciate the times we've had together. And I, I wish you the best. I can't hear anything you're saying. I got earplugs in. I love you like a brother. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'll see you on the flip side. We'll open it for you, okay? It'll be okay, don't worry.
There's nothing better than doing nothing. Okay, it's been approximately 60 minutes since Red's been in the cryogenic chamber. Is that what it's called? No, that's freezing him to death. We're gonna get him out now, and hopefully he's still of one mind. You're alive. Hey, dude. You okay? Red, come out. Come out, dude. Red, snap out of it, dude. For real, you all right? What happened? What was it, should I do it? What was it like? What? Should I do it? Do what? Are you okay? Do what? <laughs> yeah. He's in the process of reprocessing. So, so seriously, I should uh, I should do this? Yeah. I mean, do you have any last second advice? I just feel like you should take the same expectations that I took in. The earplugs are the hardest part. Okay, I've got my earplugs in. Okay. I'll see you in about an hour. Okay. Bye. It's getting dark. It's getting dark in here. Is it supposed to be totally dark? I mean, it's pitch black. Ed? It's supposed to be dark. That's pretty cool, Ed. come down to the to the table and we can debrief yeah well I'm actually gonna brief meaning I'm gonna put my briefs on okay <laughs> welcome the laughter like coming out of the chamber was authentic was authentic oh I, know. I mean <laughs> it's Trust like me, I knew that <laughs> I wasn't like putting on I don't think I went to sleep for long but I was I was definitely dozing off and like that jerk thing would happen did you jerk too it's all faces. Really? Faces of people being presented to me. Was I one of the faces? No, people I don't know, people that weren't real. People people that looked like they were drawn. Two like dimen that just two dimensional people. It's like It was just so relaxing to me. At first I felt like there was a disorientation that I imagined was like being in space, like I was Sandra Bullock. I identify more with George Clooney. I was totally Sandra Bullock. Okay. Just totally lost. And these robes are nice. And the, the, the fruit tray was very, a nice touch. And the ornament. Well, that was quite an experience of nothing. Yeah. But we, it was really something. Yeah, and we do want to thank Ed for having us over and for showing us the ropes. And thank you for liking and commenting on this episode. You can also support the show by signing up for a hassle-free mobile phone experience with ting. Use retlink.ting.com to get a $25 credit. You know what time it is. Hello, I'm Garrett from Oklahoma. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Yeah. 
If you're in the Southern California area and you would like to experience nothing, uh, check Ed's website out at ifloatspace.com. Set up an appointment. It's worth it. ifloatspace.com. Nothing is awesome. Click through the end of this video to get our candid reactions and processing of our experience. A lot of details. Good mythical there. more. Those 60 seconds. Link is Rhett's marionette. So does that mean that? Who's the puppeteer and who's the, which one's the, I, I think the marionette is the man. Oh, you want to be the puppet? I think okay. All right. All right. Moving your face. Legs. Oh, this is not nearly as cool as I thought it would be. He's kind of got a mind of his own. We kind of look like two mar two puppeteers. <laughs> is there a puppet down there? Were your eyes open when you saw the faces that you're making up about? I, I'm not making anything up. They would come from the, the side, and they would settle in front of me, and then they would move on. 